are, are your young people at a stage where things are not working and therefore <clears> they are frustrated or they've gotten to a point where they are like you know what let me leave mm. yeah. because i've lost hope yeah where do you think that the 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 emotion is but a, a lot of people have lost hope and you know especially because now we are in a social media age people are exposed to places they are not people are seeing more things and so a lot of the times you are caught between the feeling of am i being left behind are my peers leaving me behind with all that i know with all that i can do with the quality of work i can put out there is there something i am missing do you understand so hmm. you know that you're working very hard but at the end of the month all your earning has going are going into full and you have to rent you have to go for a loan you're not eating quality food because then the cost of the food is going up the quantity is reducing the quality of transport is not good but that if you're walking on the street and you fall down you fall right now and there's an emergency I mean, if you are not known, will you get emergency response? How will the system treat you? Do you understand? So if you're watching the news, you hear that, oh, someone was moving, he collapsed, they wanted to fly the person out of the country. Why were we trying to fly the person out of the country? Would an ordinary person get access to these kinds of services? Do you understand? You're looking like the, at the opulence lifestyle of the people who are supposed to be creating a better life for all of us collectively. If I put in hard work, in my own country would i get a semblance of the results that my peers elsewhere are doing so when, i know that times they, are not the same ask that question they answer it in the negative uh, clearly that they so they are like they, are, they don't see salvation they don't see how things will get better so they have to leave but uh, my brother mm -hmm. my brother mm -hmm. is currently not in the country 80. yeah how long you has know, he been away this year the beginning of this year he decided that he was going to leave. He has two boys. You know, any time I visit the boys and their mother, I, I'm really thinking, mm. you know, if me, I have children, why would I want to leave this country? But to leave... Because you are working so hard. So you are working hard, like yeah. The, the system is not going to reward all his hard work. Yes, so he's, he started a new job somewhere else. Yeah. And he thinks that that would be better for him. And it's so difficult because for me, mm -hmm. you know, around all the people around me, a lot of people want to live. And you see, the quality of life for everyone also depends on the, your social network. So if everyone around you wants to live, ah, it's, it's very sad. So why are they losing hope? Okay, I, I get the point about things not working and things being difficult. So are they leaving to come back or leaving for good? In, because I'm, I'm coming to the issue of hope now. Yeah. Because there's a place for living to better yourself there's a place for living to add value but there's also a place to a place of saying i'm not coming back to this godforsaken country ever again but I'm, going, I'm going to make sure everybody who's connected to me gets to live as well have they so are you are they more i'm going to do better and come back or i'm going to do better and come and carry you too you see i I, I used to think that a lot of the people who want to live, especially young people, are guys because then we are sort of like breadwinners or the one going to start family. Now, all the young ladies you talk to, everyone wants to go, wants to go and work, wants to go and live there because then if you go and not and, come back and, live and not come back, so they will live there. Bernard, where? Which country? Bernard, how much does it cost to buy a car in this country? And if you're importing that car, which road are you coming to drive on that uh, with that car? I went to DVLA to renew my uh, road worthy last week. I was so upset because the road I drive on is not worthy of the car. And the car to be... Uh, you, you understand. Car to be you power. don't say it plenty. <laughs> so the system is it's not giving hope. It, it, you see, at your most vulnerable, how will this country come for you? That's the most important thing. When, when you are vulnerable and you call the police, how quickly will they come for you? When you are sick and you fall down and you go to the hospital and the nurses don't know you, they don't know you. You don't have a name. You are so, just an ordinary so, person. So when you 